test fitted the mattresses to make sure everything's gonna fit. I got this this bed tilts up, so we already had one mattress, I added another one. The bed tilts up, so I've gotta fasten it up on the wall. Uh, I got my portable TV antenna that I'm gonna be able to put up there on the top. We got our four AGM batteries ready to go. There's six volt, 200 amp, uh, amp hour each batteries. I had two of them in my truck with the two solar panels. So I've added two more batteries and pulled out all the electronics and all the solar panels out of the truck. There's the frame that was on the roof and all that. And we got our four solar panels in stock ready to install. So I've shown you the solar panels and all this stuff that's gotta be installed. The problem we're having to overcome with this installation is the curve of this roof right here. We got flat panels and we've got to drill the holes in and provide the mounting for the four solar panels on top of that curved roof. And this week has been pretty rainy and I didn't really want to start drilling holes in the roof during a rainstorm. So we got to do that this weekend, I hope. And we're going to put in our port for the shore power, either right in front of the fender or behind the fender here. And the batteries will go inside. Batteries will go inside this box right here, and the shore power will tap into here. So a lot of our electrical systems and all that will be inside this box. So that's the plan for this weekend. Hopefully it's sunshiny blue skies and we can get some dry days so we can drill some holes and mount the solar panels on the roof. We also got our gray water tank here, 25 gallon gray water tank, and we're still waiting on our 20 gallon, 21 gallon fresh water tank. So that also should be installed pretty soon as well. 